Ahoy, friends! Welcome to day three of our irresistible med cruise on Virgin Voyages Scarlet Lady. Today, we are docked in Marina di Carrara in Italy. We're heading off the ship again, this time to visit some beautiful sights on the Italian Riviera. Later, back on the ship, we got our first taste of the ship's stage entertainment with dual reality. Let's go. While we are excited to check out Santa Margarita, first we're going to board a ferry over to Portofino. Round trip tickets on the ferry are 16 euros at the time of our visit. The ferry has a set schedule, so make sure you plan ahead to catch the return ferry and not arrive back late. You can pick up tickets at the tourist information stand near the center of the waterfront, or you can buy them on the pier where you board the ferry. Alternatively, you can also hire a taxi. The ferry over to Portofino is pretty quick, around 15 minutes or so, and provides some incredible views along the way. It is, however, extremely crowded and can be stressful to get on board. Give yourself plenty of time. The ferry drops you off right in the scenic harbor of Portofino. Hey friends, welcome to day three on the Virgin Voyage Scarlet Lady. We started out by docking in Marina de Carrera. Mm -hmm. We took a bus to Santa Margarita, and now we took a ferry over to Portofino. We're really trying for planes, trains, and automobiles, but we did none of those today, so we'll just do all water-based ones anyway, but besides the bus. So we're here today now, we're gonna go exploring. First, we need to get some much needed food. Then we're gonna wander around this absolutely gorgeous location. So uh, let's go. We opted to eat at one of the most touristy restaurants. It was pretty early in the day, so not a lot of restaurants were serving. And we didn't have a lot of time in Portofino, so we wanted something quick. We are in the northern part of Italy at in Portofino, and they are known for focaccia bread in this region of the country. So for science, we had to try it. We got the rosemary because cheese is not touching these lips. Um, and so let's give it a try. It looks very nice. Mm. 10 out of 10 recommend. Tori can go get her own piece. This is all mine. Do it. It was from a really cute little street food place. Cost us five euros, 100% worth it. After a nice but brief walk around Portofino, it's already time to head back to Santa Margarita. Let's get back to the ferry. Unfortunately, we didn't have time to visit the castle up on the hill, but I'm sure we'll be back. We 
we took the ferry back over to Santa Margarita. Had a very nice time in Portofino. So now we're gonna go explore around here and see what Santa Margarita has to offer. I'm hoping some drinks and more focaccia, but we'll see what we find. Okay, so we didn't find more focaccia, but we did find drinks and gelato on a floating terrace. One thing our tour guide mentioned is how the buildings have sculptures, marbles, cornices, and even fake windows painted on the facades. This tradition dates back to the 15th century, where building owners couldn't afford to have real sculpture work, so they had the details painted on instead. It's said that the fake windows were painted due to taxes. The more windows, the lower the taxes. number two for Tori, number one for me for the day. Um, we learned on our, from our tour guide on our drive over here that there are a couple ways to know whether it's a good gelato place or not. Um, I wish I knew these information years ago. But number one, to really know that it's good, they're gonna have silver covers over the gelato. Two, if they don't have the covers, the gelato does not, isn't in a heap. It's gotta be like level with the dish. Also, um, she said it's definitely not good if it, like, as I said, heaps over. Um, also, there was a little bit about having pictures or not. We were kind of deciding whether that meant the gelato or just food in general. But either way, this place had the covers and had no pictures. And the color. And the coloring, that's right. If you got pistachio um, and it's more of a uh, more of a beige, then that's correct. If it's green, that meant it has food coloring. So you want to have things that are more natural. Um, I have the stracciatella, which uh, if you've been following along is my go-to. Um, and it is delicious. Definitely 10 out of 10. Best gelato I've had in any of our Italy trips to date. So highly recommend whatever this place was called, which we will name it in the video. I think it's penguin in uh, Italian. No, it's definitely not. So we had an amazing time today on our port excursion where we went to Santa Margarita and Portofino. Once we came back to the ship, we had some downtime. Tori watched a movie. I went to the gym. Hold for applause. Thank you. Um, I did my strength workout with all the muscle heads here on uh, Virgin Voyages. So a different crew in the gym than when I go on the Disney cruises. Getting um, swole. <laughs> getting swole. But it was... Um, a lot of fun, and then we went to the show Dual Reality. Dual Reality is described as a fast-paced retelling of Romeo and Juliet with an elaborate circus twist. Watch as two warring groups grapple through graceful and death-defying acts.
Yeah, so Dual Reality is a very interesting show. You walk into this, into like their kind of their, it's called the Red Room. It's a uh, performance space, and they have uh, seating on both sides. Mm-hmm. So you walk in, they give you an armband, either red or blue. And the whole thing is meant to be like kind of a Romeo and Juliet thing. You have the red people and the blue people. and Team Red. Never shall they intermingle. Cross. Cross. Uh, but of course, during the storyline, two of them do want to kind of get together and the teams are holding each other back. It's very Romeo and Juliet. But layered in all of this is some incredible acrobatics, um, juggling, hula hooping, yeah. flipping, swinging. The pole where they like came down like inches, millimeters from the ground. Yeah. Um, there's a guy with like the the cone things you juggle on the on the string. Yeah. Um, there was a, a teeter totter that they were like flipping each other up and down on. There was like play fighting. It was <laughs> it was incredible. Like we didn't know what to expect when in there, and it was just it was mind blowing. Like highly recommend. And they're like right in, like right up next to you, right in front of you too. So like you're yeah. you feel like you're part of it. Because we sat in the center first row, so I actually a couple times like put my hands up because I was a little worried the guy was gonna like flip into us, but we were we were fine. Yeah. So it was a lot of fun. Hour long show, no breaks. Uh, but yeah, it was incredible. And then after that, we went to the galley for some, some a quick dinner. It was pretty late, so. Um, but yeah, so when we were in Saint Tropez, we went to Cafe Senequa, which is a famous cafe, and oftentimes you have celebrity sightings there, that kind of thing. We didn't see any celebrities there, but little did we know, there's actually a celebrity on this cruise. So there was a rumor on Facebook that Flava Flav was on the ship. I had not seen him until today. We were sitting in the pool and I spotted that clock from across the way and there he was and I lost my shit a little bit but I kept it cool. Tori said I didn't. I was totally cool. Um, But then we also saw him in the dining room and he was like feet, inches, (laughs) meters, a meter away from me and I still kept it very cool. I didn't say anything but Flava Flav really hope I get to actually meet you before the end of the cruise because we always loved all the reality shows you're on of course and all the artistry that you created it was great but either way Flava Flav is on our boat Flava Flav yes it was fantastic (laughs) yeah so very fun and exciting day Uh, tomorrow we're porting in Chivichivecchia which is the Rome port it's about an hour outside of Rome so quite a ways away we've been to Rome before also Rome in July it's just it way too hot not fun uh so we're gonna stay on the ship and we're gonna see what kind of things we can get up to on the ship there's a lot we haven't explored there's some fun activities we kind of have you know checked in the guide that we were looking at doing so there's also free fitness classes which is super exciting so i am going to check out bungee something tomorrow so very excited for that so i like that there are free fitness classes so hopefully i'm gonna like the classes we'll see and there's also a classic arcade with a bunch of classic arcade machines all for free so i'll be checking that out tomorrow too so we'll see you in the morning bye